Well, it's been a hot second since I've done some Minecraft. Um, so, funny thing, I actually intended to create a new world and start fresh again on my hardcore series because, you know, my first world I died on, my second world I got tired of. Wait, hold on. Why Why is there two of you? Oh, wait, no, that's hardcore floaties. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, I kind of got tired of the second world because I couldn't find anything that I really wanted. And I actually started on the third world, but forgot to put it on hardcore mode. So, yeah, let's create a new world again. Oh, wait, hardcore. Yeah, there we go. And I guess we'll just call it Hardcore 3. Because Tonk Lonely World, that, that's, that, that's a cringe title. <laughs> let's, let's tone that, that down a little bit, I guess. Who knows? Well, what kind of world are we going to be in this time around? This time around as well, I think I'm going to go nomadic for a bit until I find a good place to settle down instead of just spawn basing right away. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Not bad at all. Okay, I like this. Got a nice snowy biome. Got some wolves right away, so... Ooh, igloo. Okay, let's see what's in the igloo first. It'll be funny if the first thing I do is cure a zombie villager. <laughs> yeah, I like this world already. That looks like a good place to build a base up there. Definitely not looking like it's close to any oceans, but... Ah, okay. Well... At least I already have a home. <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess I'll start getting some wood then. What's the cords? Okay, so decently close to zero zero as well. So if I ever want to come back here, it shouldn't be hard to find. If I Actually, I think I'll probably be taking the bed from that igloo. And if you haven't noticed already, this is a pre-recorded video instead of a Twitch VOD that I'm making here because... One, the Twitch hack. I don't really feel all that comfortable using Twitch right now. And two, for whatever reason, which is currently not really working all that well with YouTube. I can't export my VODs, so... I did actually have a Castle Siege stream on Mineplex that I posted to Twitch a few days ago, but wasn't able to export that, so... Yeah. Okay, let's get started with our tools. Whoops. As you can tell, I am not a speedrunner. I am not accurate with my crafting at all if I try to go fast. Let's get some coal and stone from over here, since it's already exposed. And I'll probably also run back to grab the bed if I don't forget. Coal is very, very valuable early on in game. But once you're late game, it becomes 
kind of a annoyance to be honest as far as resources go okay that's enough to do that and that and now I can keep those out wow I am not accurate with my clicking today at all Okay, let's go looking for a village. Ah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I just said that I was gonna get the bed and I almost forgot already. Okay, fun. Okay, bed grabbed. Let's also get the furnace. And we're set. We have some cold cooked food if we have to along the way. No village. Oh, abandoned village. Okay. That's rare. I don't think I've ever found an abandoned village before in survival. Huh. Okay, one of the things that I do want to do then is block up the houses because if I can keep as many of these villagers safe. Ah, too late. Okay, they're already dying. Oh well. Might as well explore the houses a bit then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm running out of food. Anything in here? No, just beds. Oh. Well, gonna be taking a screenshot of this as well, because it's not every day when you find an abandoned village right at spawn. I think I remember seeing a chest in one of these houses as well. I guess I'll take the stone cutter too. And extra furnaces are always nice to have. see where was that house with the chests her yeah um here we go okay a bit of bread and a bit of coal and i'll be taking the bell too thank you Um, hmm. That's wheat. Let's get the potatoes and the carrots. I guess might as well just take it all, actually. Because it's not going to grow here, and if I want to start a farm anywhere else, having potatoes and carrots are always going to be nice to have. Wow, there's... Surprisingly few carrots. Okay, that was only one across those two farms. Is there any more here then? Yeah, okay, there we go. There's the carrots. And now we keep on running. I want to find the ocean. That way I don't have to worry as much about clearing out caves and lighting them up because I 
do like my mob farms and they work a whole lot faster when there's nothing else that's able to spawn anywhere. What am I getting on my phone? I keep getting notifications. Um, oh, it's just my calculus study group. Uh, it's fall break. I still have some time. And yeah, I've been making near daily videos so far as well on while I'm on fall break. And that's definitely going to be the uh, thing that's going away once that's over because I have midterms on the week after fall break again. Fun. This is a very, very big snowy area. Let's get some berries while we're at it as well. That looks like a ghost glow squid, glow squid there. Well, one thing is constant. I still have my lisp and I still mispronounce everything. It would be funny if I realized like half an hour in that I was muted the entire time. But I'm not, so no worries. Oh, wow. What is that? That is some very interesting terrain. Okay, I'm going to screenshot that as well. Okay, interesting. I think once I have a book and quill, I'll probably be starting a chords book pretty soon. Let me sleep. There we go. But for now, I'm just running off trying to find a good place to build a base. Basically, I'm looking for a beachfront property now that I think of it. Um, that's a little bit dangerous, especially considering how I have literally no gear other than stone tools. And that's a polar bear. And that's another polar bear. Wow, man, am I in the Arctic or something? Oh, that one has a baby, so it's going to be mad if I get too close. Ooh. Okay, let's walk over there. Oh, I didn't even see that polar bear there. Man, right now I'm more just sightseeing than... <laughs> Actually finding a good place for a base. Let's screenshot that as well. Once I get a chords book, I'm going to be putting the chords in those screenshots into it if I remember to. Ooh, is that another? Oh, no, that's just grass on top of a hill. And that's a death drop cave. Gonna be seeing a lot more of those when 1.18 comes out. More forest. This is a very, very big biome. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to stop and cook some food. Oh, it's raining outside again. Potato. More potato. Okay. I guess while we're waiting, let's look around a little bit. 
I guess I'll get this coal. That should be enough to last a little while longer. Do, do, do. Oh, there's the ocean. Finally. Ooh, and a lava pool right there too. Okay. Definitely some interesting terrain around here. Another, oh. I was about to say another benefit of, is there, no, no chest, okay. Let's put the carpet back. Another benefit of basing near the ocean is that when 1.18 comes out, I'll be able to just take a boat and Find the new terrain. So let's run over to there. Grab some of the sugar cane. Oh, another lava pool. I'll leave the rest growing there by itself. And here we are, ocean. Okay, let's see now. Hmm. How am I going to do this? I'm going to want to definitely build a house first. Oh, wait, wait, there's a village right there. There's a village right there. Take over time and another igloo. So many igloos. Okay. Um. Let's see. Ow. Oh, it's another one that has absolutely nothing. Oh, well, okay. Not interested, not interested in that. Let's go for the village instead. Village, you are now under my control. My control and might I say protection or management, who knows. <laughs> uh, either way, I don't think I'm gonna just be taking over a random villager house this time around. I do want to actually build my own place. But a village is definitely a good place to get started at the very least because not only are there villagers that I don't have to worry about curing and bringing back, but, you know, I'll just be able to... Okay, that's not an igloo. I'll also just be able to transfer them directly into whatever farm I want. Ooh, I am taking this. Wow, no chests. So you have checked all those. There we go. More of that. More of that. Ooh, I like that. Checked there already. Nothing there. Okay, where have I not checked yet? Okay, I'll be leaving that because I don't need another. And 
more food. Okay. Wait, I just realized, do these villagers not have any farm? They have no farm. Interesting. Well, okay. I think first thing that I'll probably be doing is breaking all the beds so that then can bring the villagers into somewhere safer. But that'll be for the future. For now, I just have to kind of set up shop first. Let's see, I want the place to build that is close to the deep ocean already. Yeah, right here should be fine. Ooh. Now I just have the tedious task of rebuilding all the farms that I had in the past. I mean, at the very least, I have a lava pool somewhere nearby, if I remember correctly, and yeah. What am I doing? I should just make a shovel. Shovel time. terraforming so that then I have a nice flat place to build. Ooh, and sand as well. I can use that for glass. And before it's too late, sleep. Hey, let me sleep. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Ugh, hiccups. Let me sleep. There we go. Well, one good thing about all this digging that I'm doing already is that I'm going to have plenty of building blocks. Not necessarily good building blocks, but building blocks nonetheless. And it looks like my shovel's going to die soon as well, so... Oops. Now there it goes. Yep. Lots of building blocks. And then once I get the house set up, I'm gonna finally start mining a little bit. Because I do want to at least get some iron sometime soon. Because I can't be skipping the night all the time. Twenty-four minutes into the recording. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough wood, do I? Yeah, okay. What are my cords right now? Oh, wow, I already ran a thousand blocks.
Another thing I'd like to know is where is that lava pool? I know that there was one somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, there it is. I guess I'll, I'll just build a dirt pillar here to mark it. Wood. Oh, and a cave too. Okay, that'll be good for mining. Looks like it goes right under where I'm going to be building my house as well. Actually, wait, no, that's a dead end. Or it might not be. It could just be blocked off a little bit. Let me grab some more saplings because tree farming is going to be an important thing to do as well here. And saplings here, yep. Sapling there. Sticks are nice too. No saplings. There's another one. Okay, I guess that's enough for now. Just put that there. And I have plenty of kelp for auto smelting when it comes to it. Ooh, shipwreck. See what's in here. Get some air first. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. failed. Get some air. Dive back down. Okay. Now I can inspect what I got. Unbreaking one. Protection three. I'm not particularly worried about Curse of Vanishing considering how I'm playing on Hardcore. Okay, yeah, house time. Let's do what I had before and have a five by five interior. I was thinking that something didn't look quite right. Do that, and now I can spider proof it all. that so then I don't end up with extras and now oh, I'm one short of a trapdoor okay 
Well then. That tree grew fast. Sticks, or no, not sticks, saplings. I just got sticks. Oh, there it is. Okay, got that. Wait, 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 wait. I, okay, I don't have a top slab, but I can do this to prevent baby zombies. I can still walk through. Okay, yeah, okay. Just had a little bit of a brain fart there. That there. Those there. I can put this over here. Give myself a shield. And then a chest to hold everything else. feel like growing crops could become a problem if I don't have plenty of torches around. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do that. So then I can do this. And hopefully keep the ice melted. that. And until I let up the village or do something to protect it, I cannot afford to stay up during the night while I'm this close to it. Okay, how am I going to do this? So this is the ocean biome, so if I want to, I could actually make some floating farms instead. Which would have the added benefit of not needing to worry about water either. Yeah, that'll, that'll be something that I can do. And I should probably be ending the recording soon as well, so I will just grab some kelp while I'm at it, and then call it a day. That's a lot of kelp. It's going to be interesting seeing how worlds carry over into 1.18 once that's fully released. I 
Okay, and that's all the cult. Don't necessarily need to build a farm for that either, since it's, you know, growing right there. I'll be putting that in here for now. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode of whatever I'm going to end up calling this Minecraft series, because... Once again, I don't think that I'm going to be calling it Hardcore, um, no, Lonely World this time around. That was more just a little bit of a nod to, you know, Stampy. But, yeah. Subscribe.